Hi, I'm Andy Carolan, I'm an illustrator from the UK, and this is just a short video to show how I use Corel Painter 12 as part of my illustration workflow. The image that I'm using here today is a comic book style cover that I produced for a customer. I feel that one of the things that makes Painter so powerful are the brush controls. There really is so much control over the way the brush reacts and the way it interacts with the paper. I have a collection of brushes that I've saved in their own category at the top here. This makes it very easy to quickly find the brush that I need. Anyway, back to the picture. Just going to hide a few of these layers. Going to unhide sketch and going to create a new layer. I'm going to call it sample. Okay, and going to zoom in a bit as well. Here we go. Okay. My zoomed in image. Um, as I was saying about brush controls, there is one that I make a fair use of brush damping. Now, I'm just going to select my inking pen. When you're producing a line, you want, at least for this style image, you want something pretty smooth. You need a steady hand, but Painter 12 helps with this. You've got a damping feature, and if I push it all the way up to the top, it becomes very easy to produce fluid lines, even if you're not uh, particularly steady with your pen. Okay. Very smooth, very fluid. I'll just lose those. Okay, and I'm just going to do a bit of inking around the girls here. You can, you can see very fluid. Just do her eye. Just very quickly. As you can see, it becomes very easy to produce very smooth lines by doing it that way. Anyway, if you keep going with this, you'll end up with something like this. Just going to get rid of the sketch layer. As you can see, it was a bit different to the to the sketch because I made a few adjustments as I went. Um, you can notice from her hair and her lips that the lines are a different colour. You can change the colours of the lines that you produce. Once you produce them, I generally produce them all in black and then I recolor them as, uh, as, as I've, I've actually produced the color on the image itself. The way you do this, you pick the color that you want and you click preserve transparency and when you then paint over you'll see that it only paints over the line that's already there. Okay, anyway we'll bring the rest of the lines back the other layers and there you go that's the finished image thank you for watching